Nate, social media companies were criticised uh, last time for not controlling the misinformation at the last election. Will this help this time round, do you think? Uh, you know, it, it will a little bit, but unfortunately, Facebook is in a situation similar to where we saw with the New York Post story, where they're, kind of, where they're damned if they do, damned if they don't. Um, you know, they were accused of, uh, of, of suppressing freedom of speech, suppressing information um, with the New York Post story, even though they rightly prevented it from, from spreading, from spreading a lie and spreading hacked information that was unverified. Um, with the digital ads, it's, it's a smaller role they're playing. Um, I'm actually, I, I run several ads myself for, for clients, um, and, and basically you just had to get them in ahead of time, get them scheduled. Um, and what it allows for is really last minute, um, you know, any, anything new from, 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 from coming out and spreading throughout the, the platform it makes it a little harder to do. Um, so it is, it is a good step, but we're, we're seeing a lot of bugs in the system right now, a lot of errors, a lot of campaigns having difficulty running ads that they were had, had approved ahead of time. Um, it's better than nothing, but... You know, I think Facebook still needs to make much more comprehensive steps and it's still in a learning process. Yeah, I mean, and this isn't, Facebook isn't saying that it's fact checking, is it? This is more about just limiting the, the political ads on, on election night. I mean, Twitter, interestingly, doesn't allow um, political ads on its, on its platform. I mean, should Facebook? I mean, I'm a little biased because I, I run political ads and I, I enjoy using it. Um, <laughs> I think if Facebook wanted to get serious about um, about this, they should have a really more clear set of guidelines. They should work with the government more closely. Banning ads is certainly an avenue to, to pursue and consider. I don't know if it's necessarily the best. Um, I think you know, TV stations, for example, have been able to run ads successfully for, for decades um, you know, without, without issue like this. Um, I think they just need to have a little bit more regulation like they're doing now. They, they are learning. Um, but what's happening now is you, if you want to run an ad basically on, you know, on election day or the day before election day, you have to schedule it ahead of time, have it approved by Facebook at a time. I think that system works because that way you don't have some crazy last second, you know, ad, you know, appearing and going viral, um, coming from some unreliable source. Um, but at the same time, Facebook does need to do a lot, a lot more. This is, this is, uh, as I said, a first step. So it's an okay one, uh, but they need more. I mean, is this, uh, you know, this, this latest step, do you think that this is going to have any bearing on the outcome of the presidential race? Will it favor, you know, one side, Trump or Biden? It depends. Um, I, don't, I don't think so. I think it, it, it favors Biden in that, it, in that Trump is more likely to be the beneficiary of disinformation and fake news coming out from unreliable sources. Uh, as we saw in, in 2016, Trump received a lot of support, particularly from, from Russia um, and other un unknown entities on, on social media and on Facebook, uh, what happened is you had a lot of disinformation going viral and receiving a lot of traction. And really, R Russia was able to spread around a lot of disinformation with a pretty minimal investment, just a couple hundred thousand dollars. That's not huge in the scheme of things for a presidential race. So what this is helping doing is, is, avoiding, is avoiding that. It's harder now to spread disinformation during the final week. So it does help a bit. And, and Trump also being down in the polls um, would be much more likely to benefit from something like that and would need something like that more, much more so than Biden would. So it does help Biden, but in, in the long run, it, it just helps in general with, with avoiding the spread of disinformation. Okay, Nate Lerner joining us live from New York. Thank you.